Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here, returning to you tonight for a Tuesday album review to premiere on Tuesday, uh, J July 9th. Hopefully you'll enjoy this. I know I delayed the Tuesday album reviews all the way to July 9th to do two albums that I'm reviewing on July 9th. The next one I will be recording most likely tomorrow or sometime, but still, I'm going to discuss... What I listened to for yellow card, midget tossing, and sorry about the background noise, my nephew's throwing a fit, because uh, he's about to get in the shower, so, pretty much get a bath, basically, so, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all 12 tracks from, it includes the hidden track from yellow card, midget tossing, and let you know my thoughts on this whole record as a whole, so, let's dive into this album review, now, this is their debut studio album, in their whole entire discography. I think they have like 10 albums, but pretty much from what I listen to, it starts off with two chords and pretty good. Definitely rocks for sure. Um, ben Dawson's, Dobson's vocals are pretty outstanding and the chant vocals are pretty interesting. It made me really invested in the song and I was really headbanging to it, so five out of five. Possessions was a short track, but it's pretty effective for a short track, so it executed pretty well. This is a 5 out of 5 for me. Sue is the next track. It's a pretty strong one from what I listened to. Um, 2 minutes and 25 seconds, but entertaining to, to a degree. So pretty much another 5 out of 5. Americant is another great track from what I listened to. And I was very impressed with the overall execution. And I am so sorry about the background noise. He's just throwing a fit, basically. But pretty much Americant, great track. Definitely recommend listening to this one. For 2 minutes and 56 seconds, you'll be entertained with this song. So 5 out of 5. Uphill Both Ways is a strong track from what I listened to. I am so sorry about the background noise. He is really throwing a fit. Um, it's a pretty good track from what I listened to, and I really dug this song with the overall execution, so this is a 5 out of 5. Me First, it took me a little bit to find this track, and I think it's like 3 minutes and 50 seconds, but it's entertaining too, for the most part. So this is a good 5 out of 5 for sure. Really dug this track for how it sounded for the longest time was actually a good Billy Joel cover. I mean, it's not as great as the classic Billy Joel song for the longest time, because that's more of the melodic, uh, like, uh, classical kind of music in a way. Uh, Billy Joel's For the Longest Time was a classic track, for sure. And pretty much from what I listened to for this version... It's a punk rock track, and it's a pretty strong one for a minute and 36 seconds, so they made it short and effective, so 5 out of 5. Get Off the Couch is a strong track from what I listened to, um, so I really dug this one with how it sounded, and execution-wise, it performed very well with Ben Dobson's vocals and the background chanting vocals from the other bandmates, so 5 out of 5. Interlude was a... It's a pretty good track in its own way, but I think execution-wise, it's hit or miss from how it sounds. So I'd give this a 4.75 out of 5 for Interlude. It has its good moments, and it's eh, kind of cringy moments from time to time. But for a short song, it's not bad to go into the next track, Someday. So Someday is the 10th song on the record. And it's a strong track for sure. I really enjoyed this one. And I really like Ben Dobson's chanting vocals along with the other bandmates chanting along with him singing the track. So this was an album they started off getting to into the music industry. So they were starting off as a band with their first record, Midget Tossing. So it's a messed up title, but that's what they called it. So, 5 out of 5. Goodbye is a weird track. It wasn't terrible. I'd give it a 4.75 out of 5. The, you, 
uh, Hung Me Out to Dry lyric. It, I don't know. This one had its cringy moments from time to time. But execution-wise, it did pretty well in its own way. So I'd give it a 4.75 out of 5. And finally, the hidden track to close out this record was actually a solid hidden track. So it was pretty strong from what I listened to um, for the hidden track. So it was like 2 minutes and 56 seconds, but pretty effective for the execution. And Bed Dobson's vocals, uh, the original singer from this band, and then he parted from Yellow Card in, during the second album in 1999, and then Ryan Key came in to take over for vocals the rest of the way. I think he was a lead guitarist for a time, and then he took over as the lead vocalist later on, but mostly for the third record, he was kind of the vocalist through the rest of Yellow Card's career. And that's what made them pretty successful from what I've heard. So overall, production mixing and execution-wise, I think Yellow Card Midget Tossing is a strong record. I really enjoyed this album. Uh, for 12 tracks, most of them were pretty entertaining. majority of the album was pretty strong. And I really dug the punk rock side as their first debut album to really introduce what kind of sound they're going for with this record, and it worked. So, pretty much in my opinion, I think I'm going to give Yellow Card Midget Tossing a 9.5 out of 10. A strong record. I really enjoyed this album. Definitely rocks for sure. Um, highly recommend you check this album out from Yellow Card as getting into their whole discography. I think this was a strong record, and I'm going to be listening to the second album in due time, and then probably reviewing the other ones in the next season of the Tuesday Album Reviews, Season 7, I think. So pretty much 9.5 out of 10 for this Tuesday Album Review, Yellow Card Midget Tossing. I really enjoyed this record. It was a personal favorite, for sure, from what I've gathered. I gotta listen to their other ones, but this and Childhood Eyes are the only ones I've listened to. I gotta listen to their other albums to discover which one is my favorite. And pretty much, with that being said, I'll probably have a ranking uh, video coming out for a re-upload for Linkin Park's, uh, what you might call it, Linkin Park's, uh, worst to best albums basically so with that being said sorry about the background noise i'm about to end this video so with that being said 9.5 out of 10 for yellow card midget tossing for this tuesday album review and thanks for watching this album review tonight